All right. Well, that was fun. It took a minute or two. <laughs> All right, sorry, this took a couple shots here. But I thought I would just sit in color and talk with you guys. We'll get some people adding in. Due to some circumstances beyond my control, I need to go ahead, well, not beyond, I'm in the process of fixing. We're gonna be uploading all new imagery to our website. So we're going to be changing the way the JessicaLynnOriginal.com looks. Um, although the process, because I have a lot of images and stamps up there, it is going to take a little bit of time. So I thank you for being patient with me while I do this. So yeah, so we're going to get some new images on our website, which I'm really excited about. Um, I do have a bunch of new digitals that you'll be able to go and download. So that'll be fun. And remember, um, all of these stamps are copyrighted by Jessica Lynn Original, but they are for your own personal use, and you can use them if you want to sell handmade cards. Um, but our angel policy does state in there, obviously, not for mass production etc. So we do ask that you only use this for making cards. Yeah, so hopefully everyone is having a great weekend. Just going to do some live coloring here. And I'm really excited because our goal for this year is to get up to a thousand subscribers and subscribing doesn't cost anything it's just if you want to subscribe you just click on that and subscribe and so be sure to do that yeah we're just coloring away oh we got a couple people joining us hope you guys are having a great weekend I'm currently in the process of changing over my website, which I said just a little bit ago. Uh, we are going to have all new imagery for you guys to see when you go shopping. Um, we're going to be adding some new stuff to our cart, too, that I'm so excited about. Um, we already added the new chat feature, so if you have questions, you can always chat us up right on the website. And the cool part about the new chat that I just installed on JessicaLynnOriginal.com, it... Um, if you chat with me, it will send me a message on through my Facebook Messenger. And I have that on my phone all the time. So if you have a question, you can always send me a message. So I'm super excited about that. And over the course of the next couple of months, I've got some really exciting things set up for us for 2018 for the rest of this year. We're going to be doing a lot more live chats on YouTube here. Um, I'm also going to be doing more make a card with us. So those will be a lot of fun. You know, and I'm going to be able to send out lists ahead of time. And, well, I don't want to give out too much information, but it's, it'll be exciting. It'll be very interactive. So I'm very excited about that. I hope that you are as well. Oops, I got one more little guy down here. There we go.
And this one that I'm coloring right now, this is actually a digital stamp. And you can actually go out and purchase it and download it. It does require you to enter your information in to download our digitals um, because you're agreeing to a contract that all rights to the stamps belong to us, although you can use them for making your own cards and stuff like that. Um, obviously, just not for mass production or for personal, um, you know, like logos and stuff like that. So look how cute they are. Oh my goodness, they are really cute. I love them colored in. So super fun. So there's one. And these are actually, like I said, these are digital. So they are um, ones you would download. The rest of these that I'm gonna color during this is all um, clear stamps. And when I say clear stamps, I truly mean that they're photopolymer. So you can see that they are. Um, as a reminder to you, if you've if this is your first time watching us, or if you've never, um, if you're watching this on replay, all of our clear stamps are 100% produced in the United States. Okay, so just so that you know that they're all produced in Atlanta. Uh, we don't outsource any of that to anybody else. Um, we do all of that here within the United States. Um, I believe in you know, really supporting your own home country. And so that is really what we have tried to do. All of our packaging materials, everything comes from within the United States. So something that I'm very proud of. So should you see anything other than that? It's not us and they have ripped off because I draw all of these designs. So just so that you know, these are all drawn by me. Um, they are all hand done. Uh, we do not, again, everything we do, um, we hand draw this for our customers. These are our designs that we copyright. And it's something that I'm very proud of. Um, for those of you that don't know that I draw all this, we do. Uh, definitely check out some of my videos. I have a whole bunch out there where I hand draw and you can actually watch me draw quite a few of these designs. I'm just gonna make him a little yellow lab. And again, all I did right now is I started by stamping up a whole sheet and then I'm just gonna go ahead and color these all in with Copics. And then I think what I'm gonna do is use my brother's scan and cut to go ahead and cut these all out. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I think I may turn them all into cards. I mean, if I'm coloring them anyway. So over the course of the next couple of days, you'll probably see a whole bunch of videos featuring all the things that I'm coloring here live. And when the video is done streaming, I will add um, a list of all the products that I used today. So, And again, look at how cute. So this one is a Copic marker, and this is, um, it's called Baby Pink Skin. Let's see if you can see it there. Focus, there you go, you can see it. And then the one I used for the darker part is an E33. So E21 and then E33. And you can see how pretty, just by instead of using a gray, using a little bit darker brown. Look at how pretty, he looks totally like a yellow lab. So cute, love it. And I know I didn't give a lot of warning and it is a Saturday, so I'm sure a lot of you are busy. Um, so you'll probably be watching this on replay, which is totally cool. Um, my goal though is to start announcing these ahead of time. Um, we are working on, as a family, coming up with a schedule where I can start um, going and sharing even little things like this ahead of time. So you guys know they're coming. Oh, too dark of a red, but that's okay. It'll be all right, it'll look cute. Just really red compared to how peachy skin his face is. Yeah. 
have to come in and do a little shadowing. And to do a little shadowing right along our lines, all I'm using is a W4. Because it just adds a little more gray. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, when you purchase the stamps, they are going to come as the clear, professionally packaged stamps, just so that you know. Um, I'm only coloring them so that you can see what they look like filled in better, because I think it'll help inspire you when you purchase them. Oh my gosh, you look so cute! Oh, I love it. All right, so let's color in the the other lab. This one we're gonna do with we're gonna make them kind of a chocolate lab. Go with a little bit darker shades. So we're gonna start with the darker ones. I guess he's more of instead of a chocolate lab, he's more like a mocha. <laughs> he's a mocha lab. So again, these are Copic markers. They are my favorite. Um, I like colored pencils too. Those work really well. Um, for me, Copics have just been become my coloring piece of choice. So yeah, but I'm excited. We're gonna be doing a lot more lives. So if you enjoy kind of this interaction, um, obviously I didn't give a lot of advance notice, so it's pretty quiet this morning and it is 11 o'clock on a Saturday. So people are out doing stuff and it's a gorgeous summer day. Um, but going forward, I definitely will put out schedules. So th these will probably be on nights and I'll probably go on my uh, Twitter account or I'll put it out on here, you know, for you guys to vote, you know, does nights or mornings work better? Um, because I want to give you guys an opportunity so that we can all interact and you can ask questions and you can get to know us. Um, it'll be fun. I'm really excited about it. And I have owned Jessica Lynn Original now for 13 years, which is absolutely crazy and amazing at the same time. Um, I make custom red rubber stamps so I can use your logo and your designs. Um, it is completely unethical to use someone else's designs without purchasing them or owning the rights to them. So I can't make someone else's designs. Although if you have your own logo that you purchase, like if a company drew you a logo and you bought it from them, um, we can make those. Um, I definitely can design something for you. So you can see, as I said before, I draw all of this and, um, I do have some cleanup assistance, but sometimes uh, if I have enough time, I'm more than happy to draw something custom for you and then you could purchase the rights so you would own it if you wanted to do that. Um, so we're going to be changing our website a little bit so that you can actually purchase those processes. I've been playing around with it a little bit on Fiverr just to see what kind of response I've gotten. And I've gotten some great response from people on Fiverr. So I wanna go ahead and start offering that here on the website. So that you can go ahead and just purchase that. Yep, I want you to design something or draw me a custom piece of art. And then you'll have the option to go ahead and actually purchase to own, like if you wanna own the art that I draw. Um, otherwise, everything that I draw, we copyright our art very often. Um, so just know that it's not cool to steal someone else's art. So I highly encourage you to be proactive. And if it's something you wanna purchase, just tell me. And definitely watch out for other people. You know, we're a small stamping community. We all take care of each other. And you know, if you see something that's going awry, you know what, don't do it. Don't be part of, you know, you get what you pay for and you know, I'd rather just, you know, let's keep it that we're a team. Let's work together, guys. Okay, so let me just call this little guy in. Here's my little mocha labs, I suppose. I think they're so cute. All right. Oh, I hear my puppers coming upstairs. 
You're coming to see what I'm working on. And I love this one because it doesn't necessarily look like it's a mom. It could be a mom. It could be the dad dog. It could be, you know, any of the above. Uh, one of the tricks that I have, I don't know if I have it. Let me see if I have it over here. So what that tells me is it is time to clean the office. Oh, here it is. Whew, found it. Okay, I bought these pens on eBay. They are Uniball. Can you see it? And what they do is it almost reminds me of whiteout. So a lot of times what I'll do is just so I don't lose that crisp little white circle in the eyes, I'll go back in and just sort of... There we go. I'll zoom in and we'll see if that you can see. See how that just makes those little eyes just perfect? Yeah, I really love that. I love those puppies, they're so cute. I took out part of the black now. There we go. All right. So there they are. So we'll get those up. All right, let's color some golden retrievers. Golden retrievers are our newest stamp set. They are four by six in size. So let's get these guys all colored in. I'm gonna use a thicker marker here. And again, I think since I'm gonna go and do this live, I think this is what I might do. Cause on my videos, when I do, um, you know, color with me is, it always takes so long to do all the coloring. So I think what I might do is just for a little while, I'll just do colorings live because we can just, you know, talk and gab away while I color. And so then in my videos, you'll see, you know, them already come out already colored. So that'll be good. Yeah, so I'm in the process, like I said, of fixing the JLO website. It's justgolinoriginal.com. We draw all of the original art. Everything of ours is handmade in the USA, starting as far as even the art. Even the art is hand-drawn here in the United States. Oh, that's my puppy. Bless you, puppy. There's a whole lot of brown I'm coloring here. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do all the shadows and the highlights on these little guys. I like these two little guys playing. All right.
All right, so let's go ahead and we will Alright, so let's go ahead and keep moving. Sorry, I was just trying to find... Some markers here. Alright. Like I said, going forward, I'm going to announce these ahead of time so you guys can join in. Because um, my goal is to make these pretty interactive and fun for all of us to kind of be able to talk about new designs and all kinds of other fun stuff. And as a side note, I love seeing what you guys create. So if you use our stamps, again, from JessicaLynnOriginal.com, um, I would love for you to share them with us. Um, share what you guys do. It's so much fun to see my art turn into your amazing creations for family, loved ones. Um, this Golden Retriever set, we have had chocolate or labs and Golden Retrievers on our list forever. And everybody has asked us for them forever. So that is why we launched them. And uh, they've been pretty darn popular, so I'm really excited. I cannot wait. I think the um, Golden Retrievers, I really like that set because it has a lot of, like, you know, like with sympathy, you know, so like if you lost a pet or it's got congratulations on a new family member. So this one really has a lot of great sentiments for just dog cards or pet cards, I guess. So really like that a lot. Not to mention these two little guys. I just, they are so cute. They're like rough housing, rough housing together, I suppose. And I just think they're so cute. Trying to keep the colors a little tamer than I did back over here when I gave him like his bright red tongue. So, trying to watch that. <laughs> nice crisp little noses. And again, we're constantly adding additional new designs and new dog stamps. So if there is a breed that you are like, I love what you're doing, Joss. I want my dog. So tell me what kind of dog you have. Put it in the comments below. Um, I will review this video and then, you know, obviously respond to anything you guys comment out there. But leave me a comment down below. Tell me what kind of dog you want. You know, what kind of what breed are you looking for? Um, a couple of years ago, we did the uh, pet fair, which was a blast here in Milwaukee. It's it's usually over uh, Super Bowl weekend, and uh, they have all these different rescues that come in and all these different groups that, you know, they go in and they they educate people on different dog deep, different dog breeds. Um, very important. Um, I can't stress that enough. We have two dogs. We have a lab. Oops. Messed up that one, I gotta fix it. We have a lab, and then we also have a lab. Well, he's a lab border collie. And then um, my other one is an Aussie border collie. So with that being said, I cannot encourage you enough to understand what type of breed of dog you're getting into. Um, I love my, my border Aussie. She's a very sweet dog and she tries very hard. But she really is a dog that should have been on a farm. She is full of energy, which is amazing. And I have kids, so, I mean, it's great. But she really needs a farm and some sheep and a place to just run. City life is just not that, so. 
All right, so we're just gonna color all this in. And then I'm done, I'm gonna run it through my brother's scan and cut so that I have all these new beautiful images ready to go to make cards. And again, these are all regular clear photopolymers. So these are the type where you stamp them with ink. These couple over here, these are digitals. So those are the kinds you download and then you print them out yourself. And unfortunately with the way that the world is changing and there's a lot of, you know, computer theft of art and other stuff, I'm not sure if we will continue to do digital stamps forever. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see. It's a shame and a lot of companies are not quite sure how to move forward on some of that. So we will see. So I'm just coloring in the pretty little flowers. You can see that set comes with cute little pop, little flowers. Super cute. All right, so let's go down to this set down here at the bottom. Those are our ferrets. They are Jesse and Chester. Um, I'm just gonna go out on the internet and find a picture of a ferret so I can color it to look like one of those ferrets. We used to have ferrets quite a few years ago and ours were gray and white. We had one that was a little brown she was a little run to the litter. And I think wet, maybe. Literally, I kid you not, maybe she was two pounds. She was really tiny. So, but she was awesome. They were so much fun. Ferrets are um, a very interesting pet. They are, I think, the perfect combination between a dog and a cat. Um, people say they're stinky, but I'll be really honest. They're not stinky if you actually clean their cage. Um... If you are the person who lets their poop pile up, well, yeah, it's going to get stinky, you know, and their poop does stink. It's pretty, it's like cat poop, you know, it's pretty strong. So again, if you want to get a ferret, they're not that stinky as long as you keep them clean. Like it's just, it's not a big deal, you know, you just go in, scoop a little poo, keep it moving. But they were tons of fun. They were so playful. And they were actually very, like, I was ex not expecting it, but they were extremely loving. And I don't, I don't know. It was just, they were just not what I um, thought in my head. Like, I was like, oh, they'll be cute, whatever. I mean, they were just little sweethearts. I mean, they, they love to play with you. They'd pounce on you just like a cat. They love to go and steal stuff and run around and play with it. They were just really fun little animals. They had really big hearts considering their size. And um, in a heartbeat, I would get another pair. But remember, they do have to go in pairs because ferrets get really lonely. So if you're going to get ferrets, again, make sure that you go learn about them. They need special food. Um, double check and find out if there's a vet around you that can actually take care of ferrets because the, a lot of times there aren't vets that can handle ferrets in every area. I mean, I live in Milwaukee and even in Milwaukee, um, we had trouble finding a vet who would be able to handle the ferrets. You know, you just think, oh, well, they're just like any other animal. You just take them to the vet. Well, they're not because they're a very specialty creature. Ferrets get a lot of tumors and a lot of other weird things. So I'm not saying don't run to the store and buy one. But what I am saying is just make sure you do your homework first. Because I would hate for you to be surprised. Um... Many ferrets get little tumors, and that's eventually what ended up taking away our poor little Jessie. She, uh, she got little tumors, and because she was only two pounds, I mean, there wasn't... It sort of just engulfed her, and then eventually the tumor was bigger than her. And um, it breaks my heart because she's such a good little girl, and, you know, the vet was like, we can't do surgery on her to remove it because she was only two pounds and they said to put something under, you know, under 
when they're that size, she probably wouldn't have come out of it. So we ended up going with medication and love. And when that time came, she told us. And we were very good mommy and daddy parents to our weasels. And we, we were there for both of them and did what we could to help them both. So, um, just like a dog or a cat, um, if things don't go the way, you know, or inevitable, right? You do take them in to have them put to sleep, just like a dog or a cat. And they will do that, because obviously they're not gonna make a critter suffer. And uh, so unfortunately, that was, but we had them for quite a few years. They were amazing little creatures. Like I said, um, I wouldn't never say don't go get a ferret, but I would definitely say do your research and do your homework first. Make sure there's a vet around you who can help your ferrets. Make sure they, and they do need little shots and little routine checkups, just like a regular dog or cat. So just make sure you're willing to put in a very different kind of love because they are a very needy little creature. But I promise the love that you get back from them is 100% worth it. So I do miss them all the time. And I tell my husband, as soon as the kids get a little bigger, I would definitely consider getting them another set of ferrets for, for our daughters to enjoy. Because they were fun. Now you might say, what the heck is all this stuff I'm coloring out right now? Uh, the ferret set actually comes with a little dress-up set. So these are little, now you could color me, they're like sunglasses, or they could be like little burglars, because if you have a ferret, they like to steal. So if you have lots of little jewelry around or little trinkets, they will run away and hide those, like under your couch or pretty much anywhere they can. So that's why we have the little steely little money bag and stuff. Um, so any person that knows a ferret, that's what they do. Just gonna use that same I'm doing it just like the yellow lab there we go that's cute uh, and then there's these cute little bumblebee antennas you can see those right here those are cute super easy to color and then what I thought like this bandana I left it so it's blank but I left it so that you could draw whatever you wanted on it so for me, right now, I was just going to draw some little lines. And again, I draw all the art, so I drew this. So I'm just adding a little stripies on there. And what I was going to do is colored in like a bumblebee. And again, all the stamps from Jessica Lynn Original are made in the United States, USA. You know, I think uh, people need to, you know, be proud of where you're from. Where that, wherever that may be, Australia, Down Under, New Zealand, the UK. It's amazing. Everybody is from someplace, you know, and I really just want to start embracing, you know, that this is where I'm from. So I, all of our stuff is made in the USA, and I'm proud to say that. Um, anything else is a ripoff or somebody trying to do a ripoff, so please don't support that. Please support small businesses and their designs that they drew or they own it is theirs um, we copyright all of our artwork so we ask that have a great time make some beautiful cards share them with us we'd love to see what you make um and then there we go oh i gotta color his little cage there's a little fuzzy his little fuzzy uh, sack of the crinkle bags. They love crinkle bags. I think I'm going to color this little crinkle bag. I'm using like this. Uh, I've got a pale blue. It's kind of a pretty color. I think I'll go with that. Since I've colored so much brown. Ooh. That's a little brighter than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Pale blue, yeah. Very bright, though. Oh, it looks really bright. Oh, I like it when it dries. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to start doing a bunch of these. 
you guys can ask me questions and I'm going to start posting when they're going to be. So it'll be kind of fun so we can have some fun card making interaction time. Um, I really like making cards with people. So a lot of times like at home, we'll do like a card party where I'll invite a bunch of people over and we'll actually make cards together. We bring out a big card table. Um, my best friend and I have actually even gone on a girls weekend um, where we'll bring all of our card making supplies and then we'll bring just a bunch of movies that we've wanted to watch. And we'll just sit and make cards and laugh and it's a blast. It's a blast. We have a really good time with that. We haven't done it in a little while. I think it's something I'm gonna gonna have to talk to her about doing again because we used to catch up on a lot of movies that we were like, oh yeah, we should watch that. And mostly it was movies that the the hubbies didn't want to watch or the kids didn't want to watch. So I won't say chick flicks because we don't just watch chick flicks. But um, I can't say there weren't a lot of them though. Oh, there we go. Look how cute he looks. Oh my gosh. Okay. So there they are all colored in. So this is something I love to do a lot. You know, just get a whole sheet. Again, one, I don't waste a cardstock sheet. And two, now I've got all these that are ready to make cards. So I can make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cards, maybe all ready to go. Um, a trick I'm going to share with you really quick, because I'm going to take this to the brother scanning cup. I just got to clear off my desk here, sorry. Um, a trick I'll share with you though um, about the Brother Scanning Cut. Um, for those of you that don't know what a Brother Scanning Cut is, let me just try to, there it is, it's up over there. So you can see it. It's in all my videos. Um, a Brother Scanning Cut, basically what it will do is it's just like having die cuts. Ish. Um, so a lot of times what I'll do like if I'm gonna cut out different shapes, cause see it's gonna go and find all these shapes for me, but I want it to cut like beautiful edges all around this other stuff. So sometimes what I'll do um, is you could actually draw a line like this. See how I'm doing that? I'm just drawing a line of kind of the shape of it. The brother scan and cut will find that and think it's the edge of the stamp. If that makes any sense. And then what it'll do is it'll cut that out. So then what you can do is then you might have to fussy cut a little bit just to cut off your black line. Now you don't have to use black pen. You could also use um, a pencil. Oh, I screwed that one up. Um, and I would probably suggest using a pencil to do this rather. I just wanted to show it to you so you can see it. And I'm, so I'm making it much darker. If that makes any sense, it will when I cut it out. The reason I would probably use pencil is because then you can just erase it. With the black ink, guess what? I'm kind of stuck with it. And that is why I draw with black ink. Because I really like the challenge of... Oh, I screwed that one up too. Bummer. All right, I'm going to cut these out together. All right, so there they are, right? Holy cow, we've been streaming for 40 minutes. I have a feeling that once we get started on this, we're going to be streaming for big amounts of time. All right. So let me grab my Brother Scan and Cut. Now, again, for those of you that have never seen the Brother Scan and Cut, I will put a link below. And my mat, it's sticky. Let's just say sticky-ish, right? I don't know. It's... It's a little frustrating sometimes because it's a little on the expensive side when your mats get unsticky. Um, but I will, I refuse to buy like a whole bunch of mats. It's too much money. You know, yeah, I own a stamp company, but yeah, you know what? I'm also extremely resourceful and I don't just throw my money away. So. So I use this really great little tape that I found that I've had forever. And then I just tape the corners of my mat and it holds it actually pretty well. And then the pieces that are still sticky holds them really good. So good so far. All right, bring my brother scan and cut over. Not sure you'll be able to get a really good view of it. 
Only because my camera, did I plug it in? Oh, I did, yay me. All right, yay little winds, right? All right, we're just gonna, I'm gonna input this in. Basically you load it. All right, let me see if I can just tip this up. Boop, boop. All right, there, you can kind of see it. It's not perfect, sorry guys. I will continue to work on this. All right, let me see if we can. I don't think it backs up anymore. I think that's as far back up as we can go. Maybe I can lift it. <clears throat> I've got this really great camera stand, but I have it set for when I do all my videos. So I didn't adjust it for the phone. Here, maybe? There, all right. Well, you can see my recycled garbage bin. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and scan it. And I'm gonna scan it to a straight cut. Let's see if that works, can you see that? I think you can. All right, so what's gonna do is it's gonna scan it, so it's gonna say, oh cool, look at all this stuff I see. Oh, I forgot to outline Happy Halloween. All right, so there it goes, here it comes back, yay! Let's go down one, maybe that'll help. Is that better? Yeah, I bet that's better for you guys. All right. So then what I can do is I can crop it closer. And a lot of people use like these tiny little stylus and that's totally fine. You can do that too. Or it'll read your finger too. Although I think you can get better probably with the stylus. There we go. Just want to crop it in nice and tight. And we're gonna say, okay, find me my images. And what's kind of cool is it has a color scanner too. So you can see that it's scanned it actually in color. Because there's a lot to find, it's looking for all the lines for all of my stamp designs. So it's taking just a minute. All right, so you can see all those lines. Now here's that trick. Remember when I outlined everything, you could see all those lines. So we're good with that. And then I can choose on here, do I want any distance around them or do I want it to cut it exactly? I could, but look, they're all really tight. So I'm just gonna have it cut right up to the edge. I think we'll just do that today, okay? Now again, you could add extra distance. Now look, it's starting to get too puffy. So stuff might overlap, which is, look at this. Uh, see, now it's all overlapping and cutting each other. So that's not cool. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take it down right up to the edges. Could get ugly right there. All right, well, let's go ahead and hit okay. So now it's gonna say, oh, you want me to cut that out? Awesome, let's do it. So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna, shows the lines right on there and I'm gonna say cut and start. Here we go, fingers crossed everybody. Happy Halloween got a little ugly because I forgot to draw the outline. I'll show you that what happens in a minute. See, like it tore it up a little. And I think it's just about time for me to change the blade too. Oh, that's funny. 
So most of this will work well. What doesn't work very well is the letterings. But I showed you an easy way and I can show you how nice some stuff works. And if you don't do it, you can see it just rips it all up. So. Definitely time for me to change up that blade. The blades are actually pretty inexpensive, they're about seven dollars. And once this is done, I'll show you what it did and what it didn't do, just so it makes sense in a minute. done yep all right now I'm gonna show you what happened here now there are a couple of things that went wrong um, and they are my fault but I'll show you what happened um, with a not sticky mat if you get a spot where it's cutting and it's not sticky enough behind it it will shift and move which is kind of a pain but it's just what it does okay now remember I showed you before the big trick to getting the text okay was to actually go in and draw the line around it. Well, before we started I said, oh, I forgot that one spot. Well, yeah, I can show you where that spot is and I can show you what happened. So it tried to cut between every letter and it just tore it all up. So, again... Things that you kind of, I wanted to show you, or for example here, here's a spot where the mat was not so sticky. And look what it did, it ripped it, okay? So not a big deal, my goal really was to get the dog images. But I mean, look at everything else. Like I, do, 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 I can just literally peel this up very carefully. And you can see how cool it really is. Um, Again, just some things to be cautious of. Know what, watch your blade. Watch the life on it. That doesn't help either, you know. Um, I think sometimes if you do too tight a cuts around certain shapes, it'll do the same thing. But look at how cool. I didn't even have die cuts, and there they are. Okay. So now I do have... Oh, this is telling me how my office needs to be cleaned up. I've been working on a bunch of projects because we've had a ton of stuff going on here at Just Go In Original. Um, new designs, which take a while because we copyright everything. We've got all kinds of other stuff going on. So I don't have the little spatula right handy. But uh, with this one, I am going to just do some manual cleanup because I had some really fine little lines. But again, I mean, just to have to fussy cut the little, I mean, look, it went right up to the edge. Look at how cute that is. Hello. You know, the golden retriever. Again, it snagged a little on his paw, so I'll just fix that up. My fault. Um, cute little ferrets. They look great. And again, I went right up to the edge. So um, you could... Of course, now the mat is sticky, right? Alright. So you could just, you know... 
leave them a little gap if you wanted. And again, look at how cute. Look, he's got his little bumblebee scarf on. Oh, there you go. Can you see him better, hopefully? There we go. And then I got his little bumblebee ears right here. And I've got our goldens all done. So let me just take those out. I'm going to leave the words for now. Um, just because I want my spatula on there because it'll help so the images don't, you know, we spent all this time coloring them and I would really like them to, and again, you can see, look at, see the outline? So what I could do, okay, I'll just take this one to show you an example. Now my mat sticks, right? Okay, so what I could do now is just now that it's already been cut, I could follow right along that line and just re-trim it. Although I suppose that reminds me of the dishwasher, right? The dishwasher, the most amazing invention in the whole wide world, as long as you wash the dishes first and then put them in the dishwasher, they'll come out clean. So same kind of thing, I suppose. But if you used a pencil, you could have just erased that little pencil line and then they would have been cut perfect. Okay, a little tennis ball, all that cute little stuff. So, all right, let me just put my little mat back down here. Let's take a look at how cute these little guys look. Look at how cute they look cut out. Oh my goodness, all colored in, all ready to go. Oh my goodness, I love them. Let me just adjust so you can see better. There you go. Hopefully that works better for you guys. You can see some ferrets, some cute little digitals. So like I said before, where I started was I am in the process of updating the Jessica Lynn original website. We are going to have all new images on the website. Um, so please bear with me as I get everything back up. But I will make a promise that I will say on this video right now. And that is that um, once my website is fully up and running, I think what we'll do is we will do another grand reopening. Um, and when we do our grand reopening, I think what I will do is offer a very large discount. Um, and sale for all the purchases of our stamps. Um, so if you're interested in shopping with us now, please do so. Um, if you buy from us this weekend while we're still fixing our shelves, if you will, um, I will send you a coupon once our relaunch happens. And when we do our grand relaunch, I think what we'll do is we'll do a live stream um, and then you guys can ask questions and we can show off the new designs and how they look and the new website. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. So let's plan on that. Probably for next weekend will be our grand re... You know what? Let's do it right now. I'm going to commit to it. Next Saturday, we will relaunch officially. Although shopping is available now. So please don't be afraid to go shopping. If you go shopping at our website now, between now and next Saturday, you'll get a special coupon. And our special coupon will be for additional percentage off all of our stamps. So, or maybe we'll offer a free something. I'm not sure yet. We'll give me a little time to kind of think about that one. Um, but I will definitely do something special for those of you who purchase stuff this week while we're in the process of relaunching our website. So let me zoom in a little bit so you can see them a little bit. Oh, that was definitely a zoom in. Let me see if I can... I'll take it off the little holder here so you can see them a little closer. So there they are. Some adorable little critters. All right. Well, again, I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. If you aren't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so. Um, we are in the process, like I said, of changing our website. Although, anyone who shops this week at JessicaLynnOriginal.com um, please know all of our stamps are made in the USA. They're very thick, high photopolymer. So if you find anything out in the market, and this is not just, you know, us, but anybody who is selling very, very thin, clear stamps, please know those are probably produced in China. They're very, very poor quality. Um, and they're probably stolen because they like to steal a lot of art from people in the United States. So... Um, be sure to check out our website, get the official nice heavy photopolymer stamps. Um, again, these adorable images do belong to Jessica Lynn Original. They are ours, um, but we'd love to see you create with them and I'd love to see your cards. I cannot believe we've been streaming for almost an hour. 
Holy cow. All right. Well, I will get these new images up on the website. And if you guys have any questions, please toss us an email message. And I hope that you have a great day. Um, I am going to go ahead and pop up a little Brentwood. Just click on him and click that subscribe button. And then you'll get all of our notifications of when we're going to be doing our relaunch, um, how things are going to work, all that good stuff. And then we are also going to be offering some specials here on YouTube over the next couple of days. Uh, we've got a calendar planner stamp special coming that I'm really excited to share with you guys. Um, huge discounts on that one and a couple more things. So I hope that you have a wonderful. Take care. Bye-bye.